Hello and welcome everyone to a very interesting topic creating holes in 2D sprites and UI elements. Let's dive right in. To achieve the hole effect, we will utilize the stencil testing technique to omit the rendering of certain parts of the target graphic. For in-depth knowledge of stencil, please refer to Unity's documentation page. Link provided in the description. To begin, let's create the whole material. Although we can write a custom shader for stencil testing, we will use Unity's built-in UI default shader, which already implements stencil testing. Set the values as shown on the screen. Now, duplicate the whole material to create the target material. Set the values as shown here. Ensure that both materials are set up correctly. Next, add a UI image to the scene. This will serve as our target for the hole. Then, create a new canvas to contain all the holes. Add an image, which will be our hole. Assign the target and hole materials accordingly. Currently, the target and hole have the same sorting order. To ensure correct functionality, the hole must be rendered first. Therefore, set the hole's sorting order to minus 100. Now we can see the hole in the target. We have the flexibility to move, resize, rotate, and duplicate the hole as desired. We can achieve the same effect with 2D sprites to create holes. Add a square sprite, which will serve as the target, and a circle sprite, which will represent the hole. Assign the target and hole materials accordingly. As we can see, the target and hole currently share the same sorting order. To address this, set the hole's sorting order to minus 100, allowing it to be rendered first. Now we can observe the hole. Once again, we can freely move, resize, rotate, and duplicate the hole to our liking. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.